Phase one is sort of a mini summer where our team uh, was lifting, they were running, staying in, in physical condition, uh, and we were doing some individual work and seven on seven work without pads. Uh, they were just throwing and catching, a little bit like what we do all summer. Uh, so it was a good time to recover from the season and then to start building back a little bit, staying in shape and staying sharp. Um, phase two will start tomorrow, and that's sort of a mini camp. Uh, it's a four practice window of training camp, and uh, we will not do anything at all uh, that relates to our opponent. So it's all good on good. It's all our plays against your defense. Uh, and we play, and we work a lot of fundamentals. We work blocking, tackling, catching, throwing, uh, defending, all the basics. And so this is that opportunity that you really cherish. Uh, phase three will start on Monday, uh, which is we're going to go through a game week as if we were playing the following Saturday. So we'll start on Monday with a scouting report like we always do with our team, and we'll have a, a standard Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday format before we break for Christmas. Give them two days off to get them to recover, and then we report on the bowl site for phase four, uh, which is Tuesday of game week. So even though it's Sunday, in my mind, it's Tuesday because the game is always Saturday. So that's where we're headed. I think there's a lot of teams that practice more than we do. So let's start with that. Uh, I don't think – I'm not one of those guys, they allow us this, so we kill them. You know, I, my, our job to me is do, we want to develop them and grow, but we want to try to do what we need to do to win the football game. Uh, and, you know, you're allowed to practice on Friday before the game, but you don't go out there and hit. Uh, so what I've done, Brent, is the first – that train, that mini camp – is we're getting after it pretty hard. Uh, and it's going to be good on good. It's gonna, there's going to be some tackling. Uh, it's going to be physical. It's going to hurt. And, you know, they have to – there's kind of three objectives of it. One is to kind of bring them back into the grind of football, you know, get them back in football playing shape. There's a conditioning component. Uh, and then there's a fundamental component, you know, getting them to improve fundamentally. So – that's where we're going to really hump them. All right, then when we go game week, we're going to do it just like we did every game week, no more, no less. And then when we get to the bowl site, we're just going to kind of redo Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday practice, but a little modified. You know, it's a real balance between working them and, and, and having them to where they feel fresh on game day because you can be too fresh on game day and you're not ready physically. Uh, or you can just be beat down mentally or physically on game day. Uh, and you're always tri really walking that fine line. It's a hard thing to ever know until they play. Um, I mean, I'll just give you an example. We don't stretch. I don't know if y'all have ever noticed that. Have y'all noticed that? You told us about it before. Yeah. And it's because as a player, I hated it. And as a coach, I hated it because you just stand there for 10 minutes and everybody's laying on the ground with their leg up pretending like they're stretching and they're really just thinking about how miserable the next two hours is going to be <laughs> laying on the ground. Like we need a 320 pounder laying on the ground with his leg up working his hamstring. He runs a yard every <laughs> snap. So we don't stretch. We move around and start hitting and you get loose. In the old days, they did arm circles. When you came out, they did this, arm circles and then bull in the ring. And you just hit, you know, and then when stuff started coming out of your nose, that meant you were ready, and then you can go practice. Now we got to go through an hour and a half, you know, stretch every muscle, but we don't do that anymore. It's worked pretty good. We haven't had any hamstrings this year, have we? I think all the science says you're, you're supposed to move around anyway. Yeah, and what is he stretches all the time. The kickers stretch. That's my point. The kickers are the only ones that stretch, and they're the guys that get hurt. We need to do a little bow in the ring with them, and they'll be ready. We might kick one to the end zone. <laughs> Hadn't done that in a while. What else? Anything?